Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. Well, Delmarva is full of wildlife, but unfortunately not all of it is native to the area. We check in once again with the Delaware Department of Agriculture to learn more about an invasive species we need to continue being on the lookout for. So the spotted lanternfly, it's an insect. It's not native to the United States. We first found them in Pennsylvania in 2014, and now they're in approximately nine states. We have started to see the spotted lanternfly in uh, Kent County. So Kent County is now under what we call a quarantine. This time of year, you know, people are traveling to the beach. So if you're traveling from Newcastle County or Kent County and you're going to the beach, it's really important that you check your vehicle to make sure that you're not carrying a spotted lanternfly that's just, you know, hanging onto like a bumper or your rear view mirror or something like that. Uh, so if you're in Newcastle County or Kent County and you're traveling to Sussex County to go on vacation or to visit, uh, you know, the beach for the day, it's really important that you do everything you can to make sure that you're not taking the spotted lanternflies with you. So the main reason that we're worried about the spotted lanternfly is because they are an ag pest. They are voracious feeders of grapevines. They also feed on some fruit trees like peaches and apples. They feed on some plants that people might have in their yards like rose bushes, uh, some vegetable plants like you know cucumbers, things like that. We call them a hitchhiker bug, so that means that they'll cling on to modes of transportation. Uh, they might lay eggs on items that are transported from one place to another. So you know it affects our trade, it affects agriculture, um, and you know it affects homeowners because in some areas the infestation can be so severe that people aren't able to use their yards, you know, during the time of year that they want to be in their yards the most. They are mostly attracted to a tree that's called the tree of heaven. Uh, so this time of year, you might find them on the tree of heaven, but you might also find them on little plants that are surrounding the tree of heaven. Um, if there are any kind of vines growing around the tree of heaven, they really like to feed on that uh, soft green tissue. Uh, so grapevines, as I said, rose bushes, you might find them on rose bushes, either wild rose bushes or, um, you know, ornamental rose bushes that you have in your yard. There are instructions on our website about how to make circle traps um, out of materials that you could purchase at home improvement stores. And also on our website, you can report spotted lanternfly and learn more about how you can control them on your property. All right, thanks again to Stephen House with the Delaware Department of Agriculture for reminding us to be on the lookout for spotted lanternflies here on Delmarva. And we'll be right back.